transplant surgeons are applying a revolutionary technology, which keeps the heart of a donor pumping outside the body. Name the heart in a box. The gadget helps to keep the organ alive from the time it is taken out until it is put into a recipient. Customarily, all donor organs are put in a cool box and enclosed by ice to stop them deteriorating on their trip between hospitals. Not only does this prolong the length of time a donor heart may be preserved outside the body, but it lets experts evaluate if it is ideal for transplant. However, within the last one year, surgeons at Ha Ifield Hospital in Middlesex have performed 25 heart transplant procedures where the affected person got an organ, which had been transported and made ready for transplantation using the revolutionary organ care system, OCS. It simulates the conditions of the body, pumping oxygenated blood inside the heart so it could keep working as it would inside a living human being. The innovation rises the time the organ may be maintained outside the system to at least 8 hours, as opposed to a maximum of 3 to 4 hours on ice. This implies hearts may be collected from further afield. Ha Ifield started implementing the technology in February 2015 due to the number of organs that surgeons were compelled to turn down because of distance. The medical center has since managed to accept what are referred to as marginal organs that might often have been considered too hazardous for the recipient. The heart in a box is well lets surgeons evaluate whether the donor's heart is appropriate for transplantation. It's difficult to evaluate a non-beating heart and errors can be made regarding suitability. The innovation has already stopped patients from getting a donor heart that will not function and may put their life in danger. Surgeons regularly begin opening up a patient to get a donor heart before the organ has come due to the inadequate time they have to get it into the recipient. This is especially appropriate where patients have been kept alive on an artificial heart. Another kind of gadget which is plumbed into the body, taking up the operations of the organ. Since this entails more operation, more time is required to get these patients prepared for transplant, so frequently a heart will be offered to an individual who can be operated on quickly. Between January 2010 and December 2013, there were 271 lasting gadgets implanted into mature patients across the Britain. But only 47 patients using these devices got a heart transplant in the same time. Since Ha Ifield started implementing OCS, it has managed to operate on 17 artificial heart patients as opposed to only 7 in the past 3 years. Consultant surgeon and director of transplantation at the Royal Brompton and Ha Ifield Andre Simon stated the heart in a box had made it possible for the hospital to perform more transplants. Thank <laughs> you.